said, put on the garment of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you. I'm not tired. <laughs> I see Jacob being at the mountain. He was on the journey. In that journey, he has to meet his brother, Esau. He knew he could no longer stay where he was. We're not finished. We're going to go back. But I want to give you the foundation. He knew he could not stay no longer he was. He knew that even if he was prospering where he was, it was not a promise. Hallelujah. Ah, somebody say amen. Because in a vision of the promise, he was not supposed to build his house there. Amen. He was supposed to build it here. So whatever God has put in, Help me with my speed. <laughs> Whatever God has spoken. <laughs> Hallelujah. He told him that through you, Abraham, I will give this promised land. But Jacob came out of the promised land. He went out to seek another land. And he found out that that land, even if it was working for him, it was not for him. He turned around. He said, I need to go back to my land. To the place where God said, I will not only prosper you, but I will establish you and your children after you. Vision for 200 years. So as we're going to see, great in my battle. That's exactly what happened to Jacob. He went to the mountain he said, I'm going to have to meet my brother. The only thing that is waiting for me with my brother is death. But I got to put on that barrel. I cannot stay with my uncle. I need to go back to the land where God told me I will prosper. Prosper me and prosper the children of the children after my children, children. I, hallelujah. So he said, I'm going to go to the mountain. However heavy he was in his spirit, however heavy he was in his soul, however heavy he was in his heart, he said, I'm going to go to that mountain. I won't leave that mountain until I have touched that blessing. If you will catch it, you will know it. Last Sunday, 25th to the 29th, the word of God has spoken. And I had that in my spirit. On the 29th pile, big point, boom, something happened. I said, Jesus, thank you. The impossible just suddenly, boom. So I know, as I said last Sunday, whosoever doesn't take it, I take it. I am a blessing collector. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I see in the same spirit of that spirit of God that is doing something right now. And as he's doing it, these songs came as I was, I was having it in my spirit. And I thought it was the usual song that we know, which is pretty, pretty much the words of, uh, what's his name? Jehovah. So I thought that was that. And no, no, no. He came in a way where it was a song of war. Hallelujah. A song to enter war and to win war. Hey, God. So as you're going to sing and praise this song and praise with this song, you want to keep in your mind the battle that you have. Financial battle. Hallelujah. Breakthrough battle. Hallelujah. Health battle. Hallelujah. Advancement battle. Hallelujah. Whatever battle you have, as you decree and declare, you must make sure that that barrel has been taken care of. Because Jacob said, I ain't going to go down. Amen. I came up to that mountain. I did not expect anything else. But I will not go until I see the shift. 
He said, sometimes we go to church to hear the word. Sometimes we go to church to be transformed. Sometimes we go to church to have something. But sometimes you go to church to battle until you get it out. Are you following what I'm saying? Until you get it out. Hallelujah. So I know in my spirit that what God is doing, what the spirit of God is doing, what the Holy Ghost is doing, the spirit of Jesus Christ is doing, is that you're going to go until. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet, stand up on your feet. Be in a battle, be in a position of battle. Yes, knowing that uh, you are not uh, taking anything for granted, but knowing that uh, whatever God has spoken on your life will not go bankrupt. I am tired of having uh, to have uh, to fight, uh, and then uh, I go and I am tired. No, I'm gonna win and win and win and win and win and win in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Pray, 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 pray. Somebody pray your breakthrough out. Pray your dimension out. Pray it out. Pray it out. So this is war. Yes. This is war. This is war. La so zegade. This is war. I will not let you go until Lord God, yes. your hand of power yes. has scattered my enemy, yes. has destroyed the stronghold. Amen. Every altar that has spoken against my life, that has spoken against my family. That has spoken against my marriage. Uh, that has spoken against my children. Uh, yes, that has spoken against my health. Uh, against my finances. Uh, I scatter you. I scatter you. Yes. I scatter you. I scatter you in the name of Jesus. I scatter you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. I scatter you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. I scatter you. I scatter you. I scatter you. I bring you to north. I let you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God. It's not planted by God. Let him scatter. 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 Let him we know we claim the blood of Jesus against it. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord Yes, arise. Arise. Yes, arise. Let the enemy be yes, 
strong banner. You are my strong banner. You are my strong banner. Yes, <laughs> My God, I call on your mighty name. I call on your mighty right hand. Let the scepter of my God thunder the enemy. Let the scepter of my God thunder the adversary. Let the scepter of my God thunder the enemy. Thunder them. Don't date in the name of Jesus Christ. my God, my King, my Savior, my Sondoro, who I be a living in any other, Rising 
by the mention of your name, we are rising by the mention of your name. There is a breakthrough by the mention of your name. There is a clarity by the mention of your name. There is a great strength by the mention of your name. You are strong in the wall. 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 You In Capra de Alata, Maso Sevillade, Mashala de Raka Pata Pata Pata, Maso de Alade, Raso de Pulsu Sevillata, Mashakata Pali Alata, Maso de Tita, Yes, Lord. 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 La zona la 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 you are honored. Yes. You are mighty. You are, mighty. You are strong. You are, strong. You are victorious. You are, victorious. You are more than conqueror. You are on the victory. Yes, you Lord. won it, Lord God. Yes. Yes. You say it is finished. It is, it is finished. It is, it is finished. It is. It is finished. It is. I command every blessing yes. that will have yes, to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blessing.
Yes, Lord. Los soto pa. Yes. Le pape. Yes. La torona. Koso si da gajida. Yes, Lord.
God, the breakthrough is your name. Blessings. 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 Oh, Lord God, I fend my life with blessings. I breathe blessings. I fend my life with blessings. I breathe blessings. On my left, on my right, above and below, I surround myself with blessings. So sasaka sika sika, so sasaka sika sika, she sasu sasaka, she se po shuti kita, la pa fo sita ta, for my name. Has been written in the book of the future. So, Lord God, every sound, every place, every corner where you have put my name there, I possess it. I possess it in the name of Jesus Christ. I possess it. I possess it. I possess it. Zika tekata, I see the oil. I see the oil. I see the oil. Suka suka suka. I see the oil. Suza 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 suza. I see the oil. Suza suza raba suka suza. I see the oil. I see the oil. I see the oil. Susan Sasa 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 Oh yes, Lord, thank you for your oil. Thank you for your oil. Thank you for the oil. Thank you for the oil. Thank you for the oil. Oh yes, Lord God, thank you for your touch. Thank you for your hand. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your hand. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your hand. So that I get a hand of it. Zika 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 zika, la ma 
Thank you, Lord God. Jesus Christ.
not certain what God is saying and God is doing. I want to tell you that this does not manifest by the senses. It manifests in the spirit. Your senses can only have a palpable, tangible of what God has done. But what he is continually doing may not be palpable and tangible to your senses. But the reality, it is still doing it. Let me show. For a moment, I want you to close just your mouth. Seal your lips for a moment. And as you seal your lips for a moment, I want to show you something. You're going to hold your nose for just 10 seconds while you have your lips sealed. And you're going to count up to 10, okay? Seal your mouth, hold your nose. Mm. 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 10. 
You know what happened? While you have no pathway to breathe, the air that has already penetrated your lung were good enough to carry you to the next stop. Are you following? You seeing God in a way where you want to touch him and as I say, God is like the air. You don't smell it. But it is in you. And even if there is a time that things, things look like closed or shut, the amount that he has deposited in you is enough to carry you until the next. Are you following what I'm saying? If you see and you smell the air, it means something as an agent has modified the substance of the air. So whatever you smell is temporary because the air is odorless. And because it is odorless, it is designed to flow in you without measure. Your conscious does not realize that there is a flow in you. But your heart needs it to keep you going. Your conscious may not realize the magnitude of what God is doing. But his, his, his work and his will that makes you going. Let me say that again. Your conscience, your conscience may not realize the magnitude of what God is doing. But it is because he is doing it that you are going. Your eyes your senses may not realize the magnitude of the air that you breathe. But it is because it is in your lungs that you are going. So the certainty of God working on your behalf is beyond the measure that you can measure. It's beyond the balance that you can balance. It's beyond your heart that you can feel. It's beyond your mind that you can comprehend. For see, as you are standing in a past position, screaming and calling on God, choose you are thinking that you are not seeing what you're calling for. But what you don't realize is that the God is literally not in the sense of a like a abstract sense? No, He is literally working on your behalf. If you are not certain, just look yourself. You are still alive in the morning. That's how while you are sleeping, the air is working on your behalf in your lungs. So you may not have the consciousness. But God is not asking you your consciousness. He's asking you your faith. It's to say, if I breathe, then he is. Therefore, if he is, then he does. And if he does, then I will possess. For every... Thing that has a cause has also a result. The cause of what I'm breathing is the result of the air. And the result of the air manifests the consequences of my life that makes me be a being. So as long as I am a being, I know the air did not stop. Are you following? Ah, God! 
as long as I am a being, I know the air did not stop. It may sometimes have a odor that smells and that makes me comfortable or uncomfortable depending on how you smell it. But regardless of the smell of it, because the air is odorless, when I stop smelling something that makes me comfortable or uncomfortable, when the air goes to its nature of odorless, I keep on continuing on breathing. Are you following? Are you following? The temporary of the nature of a smell over the air is only to cause you to have a certain perception in a time frame. It does not mean it is the nature of that air. Are you following? The manifestation that you see of God in your life is only to keep you going. It's not the nature of God. The nature of God is to sustain you. So what it means, it means whether you are conscious or not, it continues to sustain you. Are you following? So that substance of God in your life has to be the evidence of why you're still going. And with that evidence, you can now manifest and utilize what you have in you to manifest or manufacture something that you want to see. Because as long as you have breath in your lungs, you have ability in your hands. Do not fret. Do not fret. I say, do not fret. Because the certainty of the work of God, he said that the same one who has begun the good work, hallelujah, is able to complete it. Amen. Is able to complete it. So in my conscience, in my heart, all I need to know is if I breathe, then I have air. I may not smell it. I may not touch it. But I know I am the consequence of the cause of the air because I am alive. So God is. Because I continue. I know is in me. Because I continue. I know I am on the path of the purpose. Because I continue. Let, listen, let me say that again. When you held your mouth and your whole nose. It was temporary, right? And you felt like it was a cut off. But as you were holding, the measure that was inside was just enough to get you to your next breathing. Are you following? You may not feel that as you're walking and continuing in the ways of God, in the will of God, that things are not forming as you think or as you expect. But the things which are not forming are not the demonstration that he is lacking or he is not present. It's only the demonstration that they are dying enough in order to germinate. Are, are you following? For if a seed must grow, it must fall. And if it must fall, it must die. And if it must die, it must germinate. However long you have a seed that you have held in the drawer, it cannot germinate. So sometimes you may not perceive what God is doing, but must know, regardless on how you feel inside, the certainty of God is the air, or like the air that you are breathing that is causing you to continue and to be alive. That is the presence of God. That is the will of God towards you. That is the will of God towards you. Amen.
the quantification or the quantity of the air that you breathe is not measurable. The measure of the air that you have is based on the volume of your lungs. When the air goes inside, it's just enough to make it keep on going. Are you following? And you keep on breathing. You must breathe God. You must breathe him. Ah. See, the goal is not behind. The goal is forward. And Paul righteously said, I keep on pressing. That's the nature of God in you. To keep on pressing. Listen. Even a grain that is dead still keep on pressing. Somebody say mystery. You see, the grain that is planted, that is dead, seems like ending. But that grain was still pressing. <laughs> Somebody's <a> mystery. <laughs> you see, if you have food and the food is rotted, what do you say? Spoil. And what do you do with that? Ah. Because you see inside, end of it. Get it? You see end of it. No longer consumable. Long, no longer usable. But in God, it is different. In God, it is when you are finished. It is when you are rotted. It is when you are at the end. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Then it grows you. If you never felt yourself at the end of anything, then you are sitting on your way to be at the end. <laughs> but if you ever felt yourself at the end of anything, then you know you are on your way to germination. Are you following what I'm saying? A seed that is on the ground. That is rotted. That is dead. Is now called to germinate. What a mystery. You see, what caused the seed to germinate was the substance of the ground. Hallelujah. If you have substance of God in you, you will germinate. Hallelujah. You just have to be planted in the ground. That's all the requirement. You just have to be planted in the ground. And certainly you will germinate. When the day and the season comes to blossom, can you tell me something? Even as Christ came, he looked on the tree, he looked on the sycamore tree, he said, I'm hungry. And the Bible said that the, the sycamore tree was without fruit, right? Amen? The fig tree, sorry, not the sycamore tree. The fig tree was without fruit. And he looked, he said, Even if it's not your season. Because I demand you must produce, right? Listen carefully. Even if it's not your season, because I demand you must produce. Let me explain. With Christ, 
For the world, God has put things in motion. Day, night, uh, winter, and summer. <laughs> but those who are in Christ, say, I am in Christ. Say, I am in Christ. Those who are in Christ, they can eat out of the season. Ah. Uh, because when he came, he told to the fig tree, what is my portion? He cared less that it was in or out of season. Are you away? Because he created it. So when he asked for it, it must produce. The world is given the ability to go with the season. Let me tell you something. I refuse to be now in season. I will completely produce in every season and out of season. I will produce in every season and out of every season. For I refuse to wait only the season. For God has demonstrated to me that the day he has asked and commanded to the three to produce, the three had to produce, all was cut off. So I refuse to function as the world. So I produce in seasons and out of seasons. All I know is I must have and be planted in the heavenly ground. <laughs> That's all I know. Because the earthly ground must go with the rule of the earth. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, if I am a heavenly being, then I must go with the rule of heaven. <laughs> my God. <laughs> so I tell to my soul, to my spirit, all you got to do is to keep yourself connected to two sources. Let me explain. When I am in season, I'm under the rule of the earth. <laughs> when I'm out of season, I'm under the rule of heaven. So whether it be in or out of season, I benefit. Uh, hallelujah. The Bible says there was a woman. She was out of food. Because in the season of the earth, there was famine. Ha. Somebody say, Lord, download your mystery in me. And transform me by your mystery. The Bible says, according to the season of the earth, she was lacking. Because the season of the earth has established a famine. Hence she looked, hence she said, let me But God, from before, commanded Elijah. He said, go. There is a widow in Zarepta. Hey, Lord Jesus. Lord, oh God, say, Lord, let me catch it. <laughs> Listen, the lady with his I uh, say, whiz was there, and in the day she was, it was a famine, and according to the law of the land and the earth, there was famine. But God Himself told to His prophet, "I want you to leave where you are at, 
and go in the land of Henry and let that land produce the fruit out of the season. See, it was not the widow who made the prayer. Are you flowing? Somebody say, oh Lord, <laughs> God. <laughs> Lord help me. Help me, Lord, help me, help me. Now, it's, it's so much that I feel like I'm going to explode. Listen, when Jesus help me. When she was sitting in a position encamped by himself, as she was encamped by himself, by herself with a son, she looked into a provision. How many times have you looked into your bank provision? And then you look into the bank provision and then you made a calculation and you say according to the law of the land am i supposed to buy this and to buy that but the bank provision says this is the limitation where i am but all you got is that god who is your heir that breed has commanded blessings to come to dwell in your house. Hey, while Elijah was commanded to go to the house of the widow, she did not know, she did not have, she did not see, she did not possess, she was still bankrupt. But yet, the command was released. Then the men of God arrived. The Bible says she perceived. She perceived what? That the, even if it is out of season, there is something that can be done. What she perceived is that there was another stream that was heavenly directed that has come to connect to a house. And there was also another stream that was earthly directed that was already connected to a house. But she had now to perceive which stream she needed in order to flow. So when she perceived, she followed. When she followed, she possessed. And when she possessed, she manifested. Catch. Catch because I am by heavenly decree a running all season and running out of seasons. And that principle is a man my manifestation of the magnitude of how the Lord wants to penetrate and demonstrate that he is the one who sustains you. You see, they have some machinery that they utilize to manufacture some type of air and uh, you know, with those little bottle, and then, but you realize that this one is not sustainable for long. You can have it, but it will not take you for long because it is limited. Some people, Lord God, thank you. Some people, if they are on the bed, the deathbed of hospital, 
Sometimes they say hey, there is a uh, machinery that they put inside. They call it what? Life support. In reality, it's not life support. Because the breath that is inside the person can go even in that, with that machine. Does it make sense? Do I make sense? Because, exactly. Because what God is doing, even if there are principles he has established on earth, these principles are for the earth. You can utilize it and go with. But it does not mean that he is he himself bound by the principle of the earth. Because he established it. That's why. That's why he can walk on the water. Because the principle of the water that he has established is that if you walk on you, sink. Hallelujah. So I know that if I can be planted on this ground, I know that whatever my hand has found that smells rotted is a sign for germination. So I will find myself in only two positions. I'm germinating and I am about to germinate. That's all. Are you following? I am germinating and about to germinate. So it is a cycle in which you can only advance because God is your ground. And you are his seed. You are not rotted. You are not finished. <sighs> My God. My dear warrior. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to sing over. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can, can you put that for me, please? Can, put it for me. Hallelujah. know that by the spirit of God and in the spirit of God because we are with him and in him we know we're breathing him we know he is our substance sometimes when we see the miracles happening we only have a, a, a we have a smell on the air of God you see what I'm saying uh, but the substance of him is what make us continue 
So in the more, in the more, meaning more, M-O-R-E, in the more, it is always expected that I continue to prosper. I continue to advance. I continue to go because that's where the Lord is calling me. Hallelujah. So I pray that today your answer is clear. Amen. Say, Lord, my answer is clear. My answer is clear. God ordains to Peter. He says, son, we are the children of the king. And we are not called to pay any tribute because we are the children of the king. And the children of the king, because they are not subject to the tax, so we cannot put ourselves in that subjection. However, let us demonstrate that even if we are not subject, we can also participate in paying those taxes. But we will not do it the same way everybody does it. <laughs> Amen. He says, listen, we're going to utilize to Caesar, from Caesar, what belongs to Caesar. But we're going we're gonna to use it, we're going to do it differently. He says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Amen. How does he do it? He said, listen. Caesar is earthly. Okay? And you are kingdom. You're looking to gather from Caesar, so you give to Caesar. But let me show you another way. You can gather from my kingdom to give to Caesar. Hallelujah. So go and find the thing I created. Hallelujah. Hey, whatever God created is to serve you. Go outside of the realm of the human. <laughs> See, the Lord expand me beyond the territory. Expand me beyond the territory. You know, people say, yeah, expand me beyond the territory, God. <sighs> they say, truthfully, he's a man that makes a man. That's true. But I tell them, a fish work on behalf of a man. And he was not a man. Hallelujah. The raven, amen, work on behalf of a man. But they were not men. So if I am in the kingdom... The one I know utilized whatever he created. Hallelujah. The one I know utilized whatever he made to serve me. Period. So God says to Peter, he say, hey, some people call, they call him miracle money. Yeah, that's miracle money. <laughs> Hallelujah, because literally that was a miracle. Amen. He said to Peter, he said, listen, we're going to utilize the language of the earth, which is fiduciary. But we're not going to sweat like the earth does. Hmm. You see, the fish is in the water. Ah, God said, Lord, just expand me. <laughs> expand me! Expand <laughs> Be 
Glory, glory. That's so much. God says, my son, I want you to first identify who you are. You must know that you are not utilizing the language of Caesar, which is money. Amen? The Finnish army. He says you must first know that uh, you are not under Caesar. That's the first thing. Because if you don't know that you are not under Caesar, you will wait from Caesar to give back to Caesar. So you must first know that you are a child of the king. Then when you know that you are the child of the king, you know your substance comes from both stream, heaven and earth. In season and out of season. <laughs> then it is only at that time that you can command and call the manifestation of the out of the season to feel your earthly season. But you must first know that you are the child of the king. That you are not subject to the taxes. But if you are to pay for it, you will not subject yourself to the way they do. You will subject yourself to my kingdom. And I will manifest in your life favor, grace, blessings, breakthrough, and findings. You know, it is highly possible that the fish created the money, but it is more probable that somebody lost that money. <laughs> In the, I would call it, in the sea, somewhere in the water. You know, when something is lost in the water, they use people and they do deep dive. And they go look for those things. You know what I'm saying? They look for the treasure and then they can find whatever. You see, God commanded the fish to be a diver. <laughs> Ah, God. He says, go. You're going to gather the fish. Among them, one has been trained by heaven to be a... <laughs> His primary function was to be a swimmer. <laughs> But as I come in your life to solve your problem, I'm going to shift that function and cause to the fish to become a diver. But when you fish him, he will bring you the necessary. So that you not being of the kingdom of Caesar, you'll be able to still communicate with Caesar. Because in the world, you communicate by finances. Right? And then he helps you communicate by finances. So you have two portions. You have the first that is communicated by finances and the second one that is communicated by miracles. Whether you are in or out of season, you will always continue. Does it make sense to you? Communicate out of miracles, it was the cause of uh, the Zarepta widow. Hallelujah. If you planted in the ground of God, your every appearance of death is a sign of germination. Hallelujah. For it must germinate. It must germinate. 
Now, let your mind agree with this word. That you are the child of the king. Like K-I-N-G. And because I am a child of the, the king, I refuse my mind to function like the child of the slave. Hmm. Put your hand on your head. Say, my mind, I refuse you to function as the child of Caesar. I refuse you to function as the child of the earth. I refuse you to function as a child of the servant. You are the child of the king of kings. You are the child of heaven. Function in seasons and out of seasons. Two Sundays ago, the Lord spoke a word, and in that word, it was like tomorrow by that time. Indeed, it happened tomorrow by that time, like hidden. and something for years that I did not receive. Suddenly, boom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the next Sunday, he said, in four days, I said, ah, if you did it yesterday, you're going to do it again. That's how you work. I will not sell to myself, will that be possible? Because I'm breathing. <laughs> That's the possibility. He said, I'm breathing. So, I looked. I say, hmm, impossible. What is impossible? Is that to cook some shukuya? Yeah. No, that's possible. I can't do that. <laughs> what is impossible? So, I said, what is impossible? I said, ah, hi, Lord, what is impossible? Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. I said, what is impossible? And on the 29th, which was what? Wednesday, right? Thursday. I was taking my shower. <laughs> you know, I don't know how you do, but I do everything like prophetic, okay? Because when I go under the shower, that shower that holds on my head, I transform. I, I, <laughs> I turn it like a bullet of an idea. <laughs> Just hit me, hit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I, I turn everything around me like a, to, <laughs> to be profitable. Hallelujah. So I was in the shower. And then the water hitting. And I said, oh, let it penetrate my life. Let, let the ideas of God wet me. And then suddenly... I say, somebody say suddenly. <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> boom. Something. Which was impossible. So the Lord leads me. And I go, 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 go. And I. <gasps> <laughs> I say, Lord. Whoa. It's like a, it's like a, like, God, you want to get you, like, 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 trophy, like, <laughs> like, trophy, like, trophy, whatever. Amen. I was, whoa. So, today, he says, I am in and out of season. Are you thinking that I'm going to wait for, no, I'm going to take it. 
I'm going to take it. I'm going to sweat with that. I'm going to swim into it. I'm going to dive in and let everything that God created to be appointed to serve you. The child of the king. Because you are the child of the king, eventually the subject will be jealous that we try to overthrow you from your rightfully throne. Amen. And specifically, if you are the child of the king and you were appointed after the king, hallelujah. So, there is only one way out. There is no two ways. <laughs> when and where I know that God said and he spoke, ah, this one, there is no, oh Lord God, if you be that will, I leave you. No, it is thy will. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is thy will. I will not play the domino with God. Because where he said it is my will, I will not go with if it be that will, let it be done. The devil will take it over. <laughs> and he will show me something. No, I know if it is that will, I already know it. So I will not say if it is that will, I will declare it is that will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, you are a child of the king. Mm. Uh, when realities of this earth start hitting you left and right, remember you are built to function in and out of season. You are built to harvest in and out of season. Let me give you a picture. And the picture comes, as I say, it comes from the farm. There is in the world of business something that they call pre-order. The thing is not available. It will be available by people paying money before it is. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody say catch. <laughs> Somebody say catch. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, I will not wait for the produce to be in order to sell. Somebody say, you can't catch, 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 catch. Woo. I will not wait for the produce to germinate in order to sell. Yeah. Woo. My God. Somebody told me one time. He said, you know, we want to make sure that uh, you have the ability to, uh, um, how do they call it, to, um, to, to supply to our needs. And I'm thinking, my God, shall supply to all your needs. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you will not wait for the produce. In order to sell. There we pre-order. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, I catch it. I catch it. I catch it. I catch it. I catch it.
For my name is called the child of the king. People say, you know, if they want, if you want somebody to buy your things, they must know you. I say this is a curse, is a lie. I refuse it. <laughs> Because it means the people who will buy are, will be only my neighbors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, they must know me first. So every other people in the world who don't know me, what happened? <laughs> and my neighbor who know me who buy, they will not buy every day. They will buy one time a day. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I say, no, I refuse it. Because I'm a child of the king. Those who don't know me, my God knows them. And to them, he will appoint the fish. Go to them and deep dive. <laughs> Hallelujah. And deep dive. So it makes you be able to function on both realm, earth and heaven. Hallelujah. Just take the example of Peter, okay? He functioned in both realm, earth and heaven. The consciousness of having the fiduciary in order to function in the earth cannot prevent you to have the fish to dive to find you the fiduciary. Hallelujah. The function of the earth that is limited by famine cannot prevent you to have the raven. Amen. Amen. So therefore, you got to appoint your heart. To breathe the air that is called God. You have to let your lungs to flow <laughs> with the CO2 of heaven. Hallelujah. Is that CO2 or HO? Which H2O? O2. Amen. Uh, even with carbon, I will succeed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If I have carbon, I use it to do charcoals. <laughs> and sugar. Hallelujah. So I thank God for what he's doing today. Hallelujah. As I always said, when God is uh, speaking, <laughs> make sure that you catch it and you become. I'm certain next Sunday you must come to say, ah, this is what God has done. This is how he got a fish. That went out of his way and deep dived. And after that fish deep dived, when you went to the sea to just fish, and here comes among all the fishes, one, not two, not three, one that was appointed. Amen. Fish God has changed the functionality to become a deep diver. So it brings into your hands what God has ordained. Shall we pray? Father, we bless your name, Lord God, for all that you have done. We honor you for your grace and your word. We honor you for pouring in us. We honor you for speaking into our soul. 
we honor you for extrapolating us like over the borders, over the territories, and causing us in season and out of season to produce, and causing us, Lord, to sell before the produce and to harvest at every time, at all season. Thank you for appointing fishes to deep dive and to bring us to recall. For we know that it is by your will, yes, it is your will, that we enter back in the land that you have promised for your kingdom to be established in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Amen.